So for this problem, to find the vertex, focus, directrix, and the endpoints of the latus rectum of this parabola, so these are the different formulas to find the focus, equation of directrix, and the endpoints of the latus rectum, and the different standard equation of the parabola. So first, from this given, since this variable with exponent 2 has a numerical coefficient, so we need to reduce this equation first by dividing every terms by this number. So divide every terms by 3. So this becomes y squared in plus 12 divided by 3. This is 4x plus 24 divided by 3. This is 8y. Then minus 4 equals 0. Then this time, variable with exponent 2 stay on the left side and the rest transpose to the right side. Since y is a variable with exponent 2, so therefore, all y's on the left side. So we have y squared plus 8y then equals transpose to the other side. So this becomes negative 4x and positive 4. Then we can apply now completing the square for y. So just take this number. So we have 8 divided by 2 raised to the power 2. So 8 divided by 2, this is 4 squared. So we have 16. Then we need to add this number to this equation. So this becomes y squared plus 8y then plus 16 then equals negative 4x plus 4 and also plus 16 on the right side. Then we can apply now quadratic factoring. So since y squared is y times y, then since the middle term is positive, so we have plus n16 is 4 times 4, then quantity to the power 2. Then on the right side, so we have negative 4x. Then plus 4 plus 16, this one is positive 20. Then we can simplify the right side equation. So we need to put this number outside. So put negative 4 outside. And the remaining, so we have x. Then this 20, divide by this number we put outside. So positive 20 divided by negative 4. So this is negative 5. And this is now the standard equation of this parabola. Then from this standard equation, so we can find now the value for h, k, and p. Then to find h, h is on x since this is x. So therefore, this is h and k on y since this is y so therefore this is k so we have now h is equal to the opposite sign since negative 5 so therefore h is positive 5 and for k also the opposite sign since this is positive 4 so k is negative 4 then for p, so just take this number, so just take positive 4, so just ignore the sign. Then always divide by 4, so therefore p is equal to 1. So again to solve for p, just take this number outside, so just ignore the sign. And always divide by 4. So we have 4 divided by 4, so p is equal to 1. So these are the three values we're going to use to find the vertex.
focus the equation of directrix and the endpoints of the latus rectum. So to solve now for the coordinates, so observe that the standard equation, so we have y squared and negative. So from this formula, since this is y squared and negative 4p, so therefore these are the formulas we're going to use to find the focus equation of directrix and the endpoints of the latus rectum. So first, to find the vertex, since vertex of the parabola is h and k, so therefore the vertex h is positive 5 and k is negative 4. Then for the focus, so formula for the focus, so we have h minus p and k, then h is positive 5 minus p, p is positive 1, so take note that p is always positive, and k, k is negative 4, so therefore, we have 5 minus 1, that's positive 4, and negative 4. Then for the equation of directrix, so to solve for the directrix, and this is the formula, so we have x equals h plus p. So x now equals h, h is positive 5 and p is positive 1. So therefore the equation of directrix is x equals positive 6. Then the last one, the endpoints of the latus rectum. So for the latus rectum, the formula, so we have h minus p, then k plus minus 2 times p, then substitute now all the values. So h is 5, p is 1, then k, k is negative 4, plus minus 2 times p, p is 1. Then to simplify, so 5 minus 1, this is 4. Then we have negative 4 plus minus 2 times 1, that's 2. Then we can separate now these two values to find the coordinates of the latus rectum. So the first one, is 4, then minus 4 plus 2, and the second coordinate, so we have 4, and minus 4 negative 2, so for this plus and minus, so we have the plus 2, and the minus 2, then to simplify, so we have 4, negative 2 plus 2, this is negative 2, so this is the first coordinate. Then the other one, so we have 4, and negative 4 minus 2, this one is negative 6. So these are the coordinates for the endpoints of the latus rectum. Then to graph now this parabola, so in a Cartesian plane, so we have x is positive 6 and y we have this negative 6 so this one is positive y and positive x negative x and negative y so for the coordinate of the vertex that's positive 5 and negative 4 so 1 2 3 4 5, so this is positive 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, so negative 4, then you connect, so this is now the coordinate for the vertex, 
Then for the focus, positive 4 and negative 4. So this is positive 4. This one is negative 4. The coordinate of the focus, directrix x equals positive 6. So this is positive 6. And this is now the equation of the directrix. Then for the endpoints of the lattice rectum, positive 4, negative 2. So this is the first coordinate for the lattice rectum. Then we also have positive 4, negative 6, so negative 5, negative 6. And this is now the second coordinate for the endpoints of the lattice rectum. So take note that if the equation of the parabola, y squared and negative, so your parabola always opens to the left side and in parabola, focus always inside the parabola. So this is the focus. So therefore, this parabola opens to the left. And this is now the graph of this parabola.